Tech Brothers, in this video, we're going to learn how to install SQL Server in Linux CentOS 7. In previous videos, we learned how to install Linux CentOS 7.6 operating system and then joining our server to our existing Windows domain. But now we're ready to install our SQL Server in Linux CentOS 7.6. So the steps that we're going to take, number one, we will uh, configure and download the SQL Server repository uh, since CentOS uh, 7.6 is coming from Red Hat um, flavor of Linux. So we'll use those commands in order to configure um, our SQL Server. I did put the configuration um, spellings wrong, but anyway, let's ignore that for now. Uh, third step we're going to do is install SQL Server using yum command. Once installation is completed, we need to configure our SQL Server just like we do in Windows and set up our SA password. Uh, by default, the SQL Server agent services are disabled, just like we have it uh, in Windows. So we have to um, basically enable those services and start those uh, SQL Server agent services. We will have anything that you do with SQL Server configuration, you have to restart the SQL services. As you know, perhaps if you have worked on a SQL Server before, um, I have worked intensively on SQL Server on, in Windows environment, but again, this is my first experience uh, installing SQL Server and learning SQL Server uh, installation in uh, Linux uh, environment. And um, if we wanted to remotely connect to SQL Server, obviously uh, the firewall will block us uh, and we have to open certain ports to connect to SQL Server. We'll look into that during our demo. Um, and um, we will uh, download and install SQL Server tools on our CentOS 7.5, this server, in order to connect internally to our SQL Server. We will use SQL Server Management Studio uh, 2017 and um, other version as well, because there are some issues with other version uh, and their resolution is that you use SQL Server Management Studio 2017 in order to accomplish the rest of the stuff. So let's go in our environment. I'm going to use Putty to uh, log into our server. In my case, it's uh, TBS Linux Node 1. So I'm going to connect with that uh, using root password, uh, root user, and provide the password. All right. So now we are in the server uh, using root user and uh, successfully logged into the server. Now we're going to just go up here and uh, start our steps completion one by one like i showed you those were high level steps but now we're going to use the commands in order to complete those steps so our first step was that let's uh, uh, download and configure our sql server repository before we start in installation but we want to check uh, first that if MS SQL Server, if you have used uh, MySQL on this server before, uh, usually that repository is also MS SQL Server repository. If that repository already exists, uh, or you have probably um, you know done some testing, try to learn uh, SQL Server in Linux, um, just wanted to make sure that the, that repository, if it, that repository already exists, we will have some issues. So we want to remove that repository. So let's check first that if uh, MS SQL Server repository exists on your system. Let me make it a little bigger. All right, as you can see, no results. So we don't have MS SQL Server repository. In case you have that, you might want to check the contents of it. And to check the content, you might want to use this um, this command since we don't have MS SQL repository so nothing came back and if you wanted to remove if you find uh, MS SQL repository already and you wanted to remove that you will use this command <clears throat> now uh, our next step is configure and download SQL Server repository so this is this is the command I'm going to use. It's going to create um, MS SQL repository on our system and download the contents from Microsoft.com. Um, Let me do this way. Missed S. 
it'll go easy if I just um, copy paste. All right, the repository is downloaded. Let's go ahead and check that if that repository is created. As you can see, the MS SQL Server dot repo repo repository is there. So now we're ready to um, install SQL Server. We're going to use yum command to install SQL Server. And we'll say dash y. So anything it'll ask that whether you wanted to download, is it OK? Uh, it'll just probably take the y yes and keep going for us. The installation is going to take a little bit of time, so I'm going to pause the video. As soon as the installation is completed and we're ready to configure our SQL Server, I'll be back. All right, the installation is completed. Now we're ready to configure our SQL Server, and we'll use MS SQL config setup command. And now you can see that uh, it's asking you which uh, version of SQL Server, which edition of SQL Server that you're going to install. So uh, for, in my case, I'm going to install Enterprise, but uh, whatever you have right now, uh, developer version, free express, or whatever, you need to choose the number uh, right here. These are the numbers. So I'm going to choose six for me because uh, I do have a SQL Server Enterprise. And we have to accept the license and provide the SA password. Keep in mind that this is the password that you do need to remember. So I'm going to use this um, standard password. All right, now it's creating a home directory for a SQL Server. And the setup should complete soon. All right, SQL Server setup is completed. Now let's go ahead and, and restart the SQL services so that everything will be OK. System CTL start. Server. All right, so SQL Server installation is completed, configuration is completed. Now we will move uh, down to uh, internally connecting uh, with the SQL Server that we just installed. But before we do that, we need to install the tools, uh, SQL CMD. So I'm going to use this command to create the create and download the repository for the SQL Server tools. And then we'll use this command to uh, install our SQL Server tool so we can check whether SQL Server is working internally that we just installed. <coughs> and we need to accept the license for that as well. All right, the tools are completed. Um, I would like to set up my environment because um, it doesn't matter what directory I am in. I wanted to make sure that if I'm logged in as root, I can use the environment uh, path and uh, get to get to uh, those tools. So uh, I'm going to use these commands to set up my environment. All right, now we're ready to um, connect with the SQL CMD. All right, let me uh, 
Perhaps I put the password wrong. All right, I basically uh, typed the password wrong, so um, it wasn't that password. I just set it up because uh, just for the demo purposes. So now we're connected with the SQL Server using uh, the SA password. Let's go ahead and select and run some command. Select name from sys.databases. Go and there you go. So now we can internally connect with the um, SQL Server. So let's go ahead and try with the SQL Let's open SQL Server Management Studio and try to connect with our server. Maximize this. TBS Linux node one dot tech dot local. And we're going to use uh, SQL Server authentication. Obviously, the Windows authentication is not enabled yet. So let's provide the password. and click connect. Currently, we don't have any firewall um, rule open or port open. Uh, in order for us to connect remotely to our SQL Server in Linux, we need to open either the port. If testing purposes, you wanted to uh, disable your firewall, that'll be fine too. But uh, I would like to open a port in order to connect remotely um, using SQL Server Management Studio. So let's see that uh, what kind of error we get. It's not going to let it connect, just so that you know. But I wanted to show you that if you run into this issue, that means that our firewall is blocking us uh, and keeping us uh, uh, from connecting to SQL Server on Linux. There you go. So let's go ahead and open the firewall. Right here, our step, enable firewall port 1433. So we're going to run this command. Success and let's reload our firewall. And now, if we'll try to connect using SQL Server Management Studio, it should be able to let us connect to SQL Server. There you go. Let's refresh this. It's a little bit slow for me. Well, I have started the SQL Server agent already. So, you know, the, let's go and look at the command that we use in order, if your SQL Server agent is disabled, you need to run this command. I'm a SQL set SQL agent dot enable true. Uh, if you set it false, then it's gonna turn it off. So if you find your SQL Server agent um, disabled, then go ahead and run this command and refresh your connection. It should You should be able to see that your SQL Server agent is running. So that's it for um, uh, connecting to SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studio and connecting remotely and how we open the firewall port uh, and was able to connect with our SQL Server installed on Linux. Um, our next video is going to be, we're gonna enable uh, Windows authentication just like we do. We would like to connect to SQL Server using uh, our uh, Active Directory users. So for that, we need to enable, we need to run some commands in order to connect uh, to SQL Server using uh, Active Directory users. So that is going to be next video. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.